Hi there. So I'm going to quickly run through the espresso martini for one reason, because it's super popular. I like to keep it really easy, so I'm going to do the simplest of recipe. That's 30, 30, 30. And there's always, there's plenty of recipes out there. There's tweaks, there's using rum, using different measurements, adding your sugar. But this one, easy to remember. So I'm going to use kettle one vodka today. So 30 mils, Kahlua coffee liqueur, 30 mils again. Little dripper cold drip coffee. I prefer to use this, so this is the best way to stay consistent. If you use a hot extracted coffee, if you don't use it straight away, it goes quite bitter. I'm going to fill my Boston glass with ice. So I'm going to start with 30 mils of Kettle One vodka. Or another vodka, just a, a premium vodka. 30 mils of Kahlua. And then 30 mils of cold drip coffee. In this case, that uh, little dripper that I was mentioning. Now upturn your Boston tin over the glass, and give it a firm tap. Now this one you want to make sure you give it a real hard shake so that it froths up and gets a nice crema. Break those two apart. You want to use your Hawthorne strainer and your conical strainer and double strain into a chilled coupe. So once again, keeping it really simple, three coffee beans for a garnish. And as you'll see, a nice creme will form once it, once it sits there for a second. The colors will separate, you have a real dark color for the, for the coffee. I find this recipe is simple and it keeps most people happy. It's, got, it's well balanced with the bitterness of the cold drip coffee and the sweetness of the Kahlua. So if you're an espresso fan, make sure you comment below. Uh, let me know what your cocktail recipe is and also, down here, I don't even I don't even know where it is. Somewhere down here, subscribe and keep up to date with our recipes, techniques, 